Most websites need goals. Goals are things like are they registering for your free download, your free ebook, and therefore you're able to capture their email and phone number as a sales lead? Or if you're an e commerce website, are they buying your stuff through your store? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up goals in Google Analytics so you'll really start to understand how your website is generating registrations or purchases. Let's get started. Welcome back. The code for the Google Analytics information is 2999-R as in Robert. We're going to look at goals. We're going to talk about what goals are and we're going to talk about basic setup in analytics and then a little bit of where you see the materials. All right, so let's look at our materials. Let's talk about first, let's talk about what a goal is. I have some email links to uh, check that up. So let's look at our first sort of goal. So here's our website and one of the things we want to measure is email inquiries. So we have all sorts of information obviously about SEO training, social media training, AdWords training, consulting, all that fun stuff. We have on every one of our web pages, we have this contact form, this link to our contact form. So somebody can send us an inquiry about a workshop or training or question and I'd like to know how many inquiries am I generating from my website. If you're a roofing company, same thing. How many people are inquiring about your services? This can also be your free download. Whatever you have that's a goodie on your website, as simple as send us an email message or as complicated as download our free ebook, that can be a simple goal in analytics, a registration. If you're running e-commerce and you link e-commerce to the website, it'll automatically consider those goals. Now let's just do this form. Let's type in Jason McDonald. So you type in, you know, I'm John Customer, you know, Jason, I'll put my email here. I'll have to learn how to type, you know, so here's Joe Customer and he or she is, you know, going to send us an inquiry. And the inquiry, here's their message. I am interested in your classes, right? You know, call me, right? And I want to know how many people are doing this on the website. So they're going to send this inquiry in. Now watch what happens when they send in the form. Look at this URL up here. They're going to hit submit. That's going to send them to a new URL about slash thank you dot HTML. That's called the thank you page. So what you want to do is make sure when somebody fills out one of your forms, your inquiry form, your ebook form, your download form, they get sent to another page. That page is called the thank you page. You need it. That's the goal. They've achieved the goal. And I want to measure how many people are achieving these goals on my website. All right. So now let's look at Google Analytics and where we set up goals. So I'm going to go and drill into analytics. So here we are in analytics. Let's drill into Google Analytics. I'm going to drill into our website. Okay, now, got to think like Google. Over here on the left, we have conversions. Another word for goal is a conversion. A conversion occurs when they cross the finish line. They do what you need them to do. They succeed. They've sent you an inquiry. They've done something wunderbar. That's the conversion. Here's the goals. Okay, now, think like Google, right? How do you define a goal? Where do you define a goal? If you were Google, where would you hide the definition of a goal? Of course, it is nowhere to be found over here on the left. No one at Google is smart enough to put a link here that says define a goal. Not there. So you got to think like Google. So where do they hide everything in analytics? Up in admin. So the first thing you've got to do is turn on the goal. You have to set the goal up that's in the admin part of your analytics. Click on admin. You're going to see your properties here. Over on the right hand side you'll see goals. Click on goals. I've already created this goal. It's called email form so I can just click edit it. So I'm going to click into it. Remember that destination about slash thank you. So you take everything after your domain. jm-seo.org slash about thank you. That's the goal. Pop that guy in here. You can give it a value. You can say this goal is worth $10, $100, $1,000. If you turn on the value, it'll measure that value. If you have a funnel, different steps that are going through, you can measure that. Not that important. Uh, I don't recommend having a complicated funnel, but just very simple. You don't really need that. That's more complicated. I'm going to hit cancel. You would hit save. 
because the goal has been set up. Once you set the goals up, they're here, they're ready to go. Just remember they're hidden under the admin tab. It's, it's totally insane the way they don't have a link from your analytics panels over here. They don't have a link to set up a goal. It's under admin. Under admin, you've got to go over to the profile level. You've got to find goals. You turn the goals on. You can click create a goal here. It's going to help you. For most of us, destination is the best goal. That's really the best. In some cases, more complicated cases, you're going to use events. But most of us, it's just a simple destination they registered. Okay, now we've turned the goal on. Where does it live? Let's drill into the account. Very simple. I've got no advanced segments on. I'm just running all data. On the left-hand side, go down to Goals. Click Overviews. Now up here, you can see all your goals. Email form 104. Okay, so then you can actually drill. You can click on email form and I can actually see how many inquiries are coming from the website. So in the last 30 days, 104. You can do that month by month. Click August, apply, 63. So you can go and you can look. July, how many? Apply, 63 in July as well. How interesting, same month. Let's go back to June. June, apply. 94. So you can measure that over time. You can do advanced segments. All of the things, the wonderful things you can do in analytics to measure how people get to the website and do they convert? Do they complete your goal, your registration, your sale, whatever? You've got to set those goals up. If you're running e-commerce, that's set up over here. You've got to connect to your e-commerce engine. That's a little bit more of a complicated animal. So in this video, I just wanted to show how do you set up a goal once you set up a goal, then how do you see that performance in Google Analytics? So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Get the class materials. Oh, let's talk about class materials. Down here are some interesting things. There is a Google Analytics IQ Lessons. Went a little bit too fast here. Down here, there's another video from Google on goals. Pretty good video there I've got for you. I've got the support system on Google. All your stuff about goals and conversions there. I've got links to YouTube's from Google Official on how to use goals. They're a little bit salesy, uh, but they are uh, helpful as well. So I've got a lot of good resources. Think about what your goal is. Registration is the most common. Define it with a thank you page. Set it up right away and start measuring uh, is your website uh, getting people to your goal. So now we're ready to say thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. All that fun stuff and we will see you on the internet.